Hi beauties, it's Brittany Alyssa. So I look pretty crazy. I just came from the hospital and I had to get these videos done for you guys. So jumping right into things, I want to test out the powder before foundation routine that has been going all around Instagram and YouTube and I ordered my velvetizer on Urban Decay's website because it is sold out everywhere else. It's sold out on Sephora and um, Ulta does not have it. So this is what it looks like. I haven't played with it. It's still brand spanking new. Let's open this bad boy first. I'm gonna get the excess by just tapping on the bottom. And let me know if you guys like this short hair. When you wear wigs, unfortunately, you tend to do things a little different and yeah, I just decided I was gonna cut this wig into like a short style. My beauty blender is dry because I did not know whether or not to use a dry or wet beauty blender. So right now I'm just going to wing it and use a dry one. I'm gonna be going in with my beauty blender pro in black and I'm gonna put this powder all over my face. Okay, so now I have the powder all over my face. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to go in with my Holy Grail foundation and my NARS All Day Luminous and you would think I know the name. In this color I am Medium Dark 5 New Guinea. This powder is like really fine. And I'm gonna go in with my Dry Tarte um, beauty sponge and the reason why I'm doing it dry is because I don't want it to soak up the powder and I feel like if it's wet obviously it's going to soak up all the powder so I'm just going to go in with it dry and apply it all over my face I will say I wanted to hate this so freaking bad this is a freaking maze balls like my face looks flawless what the hell I wanted to be like this shit is it doesn't work it works so good I'm gonna zoom it in so that you guys can see it a little bit closer but I'm so shocked oh my goodness I found a new way to apply my foundation that actually works. Okay, so I'm going to cut and apply the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on what I really feel about this foundation, powder before foundation routine. Hey okay, beauty, so I am back. My makeup is 100% complete. I have something just like clear on my lips. I cannot believe how my face looks with this applying my foundation before my apply my foundation applying my powder before my foundation this is freaking amazing like I absolutely love it like this is magnificent I'm going to do a check-in later on to see how it holds up because it's really hot right now it's like 92 degrees here in New York so I'm going to do a check-in because right now I'm gonna zoom it in so you can see my pores look closed I really 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 wanted to hate this I actually did a video like this with the Laura Mercier and it didn't do anything for my face I was like oh this is a crappy video I'm not even gonna upload it and when I got this in the mail yesterday I was like I'm gonna try it again and see if this actually is better so I will say that because it's so it's finely milled I can't talk today it's actually better this is the best my foundation has looked in such a long time and I like I can't say enough about it 
So again, you can find this on Urban Decay. I purchased this with my own money and it was $34 and I paid the shipping and handling and whatever else and it comes with 0.28 ounces. So powders last a long time. I had my Laura Mercier now for about maybe eight or nine months and it really works really well. But I cannot believe how great this is coming off. I am really shocked. So I will do a check in with you guys, let you know exactly how this turns out. I'm, I have my fingers crossed that it's going to turn out absolutely fabulous. So I'll let you guys know and I'll see you guys later. Okay beauty, so it's been about four or five, out four and a half hours um, since I did the powder before my foundation and I'm exhausted, I'm beat. I literally had a hot sweaty day, went out, night on the town. Not quite because it's still really early. <laughs> but changed my outfit and this look really held up. Like I really recommend trying this out for yourself. Don't even take my word for it. Try it out for yourself. See if it works for you because I have oily combination skin. And although I'm creasing right here, it's still not horrible. Like usually I would be a grease ball right now. My foundation would literally be melting off of my face. But it is not. Like, this is so good. I really, really, really am impressed with this look. I am going to do it again. I think this is going to be my new Holy Grail foundation routine because it really works. So there's not much that I can say besides that. Um, I really absolutely love it. And if you guys are interested in what I have on my lips, that video will be up simultaneously with this one. So look out for that one. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. It was fun. I really learned something today that it does work. It sucks up your oil. It's really good. It's really... Why do I keep having a problem saying this? It's fa finely milled. Jesus, I cannot even talk today. I'm so exhausted, but thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the notification so when I post a new video, you will be able to see it. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. As usual, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. But as far as this goes, it is tested and approved, and I love it, and I am going to use it again. Good night, beauties.